Hello, my name is JJ Spillman, and I'm a second generation missionary to the country of Ukraine. I am sent out of North Valley Baptist Church in Santa Clara, California, and my pastor has approved for me to join Baptist International Missions Incorporated. My family moved to Ukraine in 1999. I was only three years old at the time. I got to grow up in Ukraine, and while there, I had the opportunity to learn the Russian language, study Ukrainian culture, and minister to the people with my parents. I was saved in Ukraine at the age of five, and it was at a youth conference in Ukraine that I surrendered to the call to preach. Ukraine is a beautiful country approximately the size of Texas. It's right above the Black Sea, east of Poland, and southwest of Russia. Its significant grain production has earned it the name the Breadbasket of Europe. Nearly 44 million people live in Ukraine, the majority of which claim to be Ukrainian Orthodox. Many Ukrainians speak two languages, Russian and Ukrainian with the latter being the official language of the country. The people of Ukraine are kind and hardworking. The majority of people in Ukraine remember what it was like to live in the Soviet Union and do not wish to return to it. They love their families and their children come first. Many have learned several different trades through the work that is available. They seek success, but do not know that success on earth will not count in eternity. One day, while in a village with my father, we were handing out invitations for a revival service. We came upon one house where a lady was working outside in her garden. We offered her an invitation and told her about the service that we were planning on having that evening. She immediately rejected the invitation and proceeded to tell us that she had been born Orthodox, lived Orthodox, and would one day die as an Orthodox. It was heartbreaking to hear her say those words because what I heard was that she had been born a sinner, had lived her life as a sinner, and would one day die a sinner without Christ. We held the service that night and many people came. Some drove in vehicles while others rode in horse-drawn carts several miles over very rough roads just to come to church. The people in Ukraine are open and hungry for the gospel. They just need someone who can take it to them. When I came back to the States in 2014 for Bible college, there was a war brewing in Ukraine. The people of Ukraine had protested and overthrown the president at the time, who was pro-Russian in his policies and blocking Ukraine's application to join the European Union. While there was disorder in the capital, Kiev, Russia took the opportunity to seize some of Ukraine's land. Russian forces seized control of the Crimean Peninsula and some of eastern Ukraine. There is still fighting between the Ukrainian military and Russian or separatist forces in the eastern regions of Ukraine, and thousands have died on both sides. There is a war going on in Ukraine hid from many people's eyes, but it is not a war for physical independence. It is a war for the eternal destiny of the souls of the dear men and women, boys and girls of this country. It is a war that Christ won at the cross of Calvary, but so many Ukrainians do not know there is victory in Christ. Since Ukraine's independence from the Soviet Union, God has used missionaries and nationals to open the doors for the gospel. God is continuing to bless in the churches in Ukraine. Thousands are getting saved, tens of thousands are hearing the gospel, but millions are still waiting for someone to tell them of Christ. There is so much work still to be done to reach the people of this country, and the laborers are few. Many people are dying and going to hell because there is no gospel witness in their city or village. They just need someone who can tell them of Jesus and how he can save them. I believe that God chose for me to grow up in Ukraine so that one day I could come back and continue serving Him there. I believe that He's called me to start a church in the northern part of the country, in a city called Sumy. The language they speak in that region is primarily Ukrainian, so my first term will be focused on working with a Russian-speaking church and learning Ukrainian so that I might be able to reach more people for Christ in Ukraine. Would you please prayerfully consider supporting me as I head back to reach the lost? in Ukraine.